Yes, hi guys. In this video, I'm going to explain a situation that a user requested me. Um, how to solve a problem when Stitch and Scoop gives unexpected results and Phil Polygon didn't uh, solve it, kind of ruined the object. So I want to show uh, a similar use case with the basic uh, cube and cylinder to explain the problem and solution. So if you take a basic cube and cylinder, you can see over here, it's a basic cube and cylinder. And if you do Stitch and Scoop and you try to subtract the cube, you get expected results where you have this filled in completely. And this is kind of just filled in and this is what the user expected to get. Uh, the problem was that the user didn't get that fill. So I'll show you how to reproduce it actually. And because Boolean operation, Stitch and Scoop, which is Boolean operations, are working based on volume, if you tamper with the volume of the object, you will get different results. So in this case, I'm going to delete a face uh, from this object. So once I deleted a face, this object is no longer printable. It's no longer has a volume. It's not a good object anymore. And so Stitch and Scoop would treat them differently as well. So I'm going to deselect this face so I can select the other object, both objects. And if we do Stitch and Scoop now, um, I'm going to do the same thing, subtract the cube. But in this particular case now, you can see we got, let me finalize it to see it better. You can see we got this inside over here and it didn't fill. So the natural instinct is to say use fill polygon, which actually fills every hole in the object. So if you're going to go to fill polygon now, the problem is it created this, you see it, it did close, the face that I deleted is closed. And it closed over here everything also, this is printable. But it created this strange thing and the reason is because it didn't really know, it's missing an edge over here and it, it had so many things to close and it didn't know that you have to fill it in an L shape. So we just tried to close it and you know basically gave it not the results that you expected. So how do you solve a situation like this? So let me just undo and show how this could be done. Uh, the first, the best approach always is to fill before you do the Boolean operation. So if I'm going to select just this, and if I do now uh, fill polygon, so this now it's filled correctly. You can see if I'm going to select over here, you see this face basically was filled. And it filled it correctly, the entire um, inside had no issue because it had only one face to fill, there was no issue. And now if I'm going to select both together and I do the Boolean operation, it should work as with the first example, the way it should be expected to work. And look over here, this is filled nicely without any problem. But if you already have it, or if you have a more complex shape and it still have issues to fill it to give a proper results. So let me show you how this could be done. So I'm going to delete again the face. I can actually delete again the face we created or any other face. Let's see if I get it which side it was. Okay, I think so was this face. So it created two triangles instead of a rectangle. So I'm going to delete this again, and I'm going to do a, f a Boolean again and show how this could be solved. So, so here you go, I'm going to subtract again this mesh, but this time I'm going to switch on this option, keep original object on. So I did a Boolean and this keep original object. I'm going to hide this object just to show what's happening. I'm going to hide this and as you can see over here we got the same results and I'm going now to fill it if I select this object I can fill polygons um, fill polygon this is filled the same results but now I'm going to unhide the cube and select the cube as well both objects and now we're going to do the boolean again and now it should work because if it's filled okay as you can see over here if this is filled it doesn't really matter the amount of faces the way the faces looks like because once you have a volume you can cut out as expected. So basically it's the same idea. Even if you have a very complex shape, has a lot of holes, I don't really look at the, how the fill would do it because in this case it would do exactly the purpose. Um, once you cut afterwards, uh, this is perfectly filled now. And it's perfectly nice. So this solves the situation. Um, so I think this would solve the request I got from that particular user. But I want to show another example where it's actually not a problem. Uh, it's just a different use case where you may want uh, to have a such, um, you know, interesting to see how it's being solved so if I do something like this and I'm going to add thickness to this cylinder so I can add let's say a negative 5 thickness so it has now a thickness inside and now if we're going to do a, a boolean operation such as scoop it will do it properly but that may not be the case what you want so I'm going to finalize this so see what's happening. This is filled with the thickness that you created and this is how a Boolean operation should work in these cases. There's nothing wrong with it. But 
if you want to fill this now, fill polygon wouldn't help you at all because there's no open faces. This is completely manifold and printable. So if you can go now, fill polygon probably will give you an error. Yes, you cannot, you know, you can't basically create this, this selection. And the reason is because there's nothing to fill. There's nothing open. Everything is closed. So how do you solve a case like this? You can probably create shapes, let's say, um, rectangle, a uh, cube, and thin it out and place it over here and play around to make a union and so on. But that's very difficult. So I would solve a case like this if I do want to fill this. I would solve a case like this using um, 3D drawing, 3D sketch. So I would go basically to 3D sketch. Um, I'll set my plane to be on top of this. In this case, I know it's 100, but you can snap it off if you don't know. And I'll start drawing basically over here um, from this point. Let's see if I can see what, what am I doing. Let's see if I have to turn on the wire frame better to see better where I'm drawing. So, oh, it's over here, okay. Over here. So I start drawing over here and then snap over here. Okay, so we created this piece. Now I need to, let me see first what's happening. Yes, I did the roads, nice profile. So I'll go now to the bottom view, um, basically to the bottom view and do the same thing. So 3D sketch, now I need to set the plane again, the bottom is basically zero, same idea. And I'm going to draw from this point to this point, let's see if we can snap it, and this point. Okay, so now I can close the drawing and I'm going to hide the cube. So let's just select uh, the cylinder, I'm sorry half a cylinder. I'm going to select this and now I'm going to go again to 3D sketch and I'm going to fill in the connecting from here to here and now I'm going to let's escape not to continue drawing from here to here. Okay but this is still you can't fill you have to add a face over here so I'm going to add a face over here. Okay but now I'll still have the same issue with fill polygon it, it wouldn't know that he needed an L shape so I need to tell it um, what to fill. So I can basically just uh, merge everything and select faces or I can group them into different things. So let's say I'm going to merge objects and I'm going now to select different faces. It selects this. I'm going also to select this edge. Okay, so I have this selected. Now we're going to go to fill polygon. It filled this one. And now let's deselect, select, deselect this part, this mesh. Go back to this and select this part and then select again this center edge that it's used for both, this edge, and now go um, fill polygon, have this filled. So now I have this piece is filled. If you want to add thickness to it, you kind of would need to, I guess the best idea would be if I merge these two as well. Uh, let's see, these two faces are now merged. And now we're going to go to add thickness. Again, let's say a negative five or plus, I'm not even sure what I need to do over here, I have to review it. Um, but if you have add connections on, it will kind of make this nice transition connections, not leave it open this space. So it closes it nicely. I have to unhide the cube to see, but um, I'm not sure if I was supposed to do the inner or outer um, connections. But nevertheless, uh, it looks like, yes. Okay, the connections I added, I may need to do the inner connections, the outer, or you can push this in. But you see the idea. Uh, yes, my thickness was out from this side. I probably wanted it to do the thickness from the inside, the, other, the opposite way. But nevertheless, that's basically not a problem. You get the idea. And then you take this and you do a simple union and you basically have them filled. Uh, you can just go and delete the this, uh, profile. You no longer need the profile. And this is basically how you fill a situation like this. If you look at wireframe, you can see a little bit better what's happening here. You see we have nicely filled everything. So, okay, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you want me to explain anything else. Thank you.